Hello guys and welcome to the Beyond Sana channel, my name is Shanks and today we are going to continue with the good campaign in the Shadow and Flame mod for Battle for Middle Earth 1 on the patch 1.06, this time with Faramir, the captain of Kondo and we're gonna give him the chance to finally show his quality. Let's get it started. Northern Ithilien is a dense wooded land of Gondor, now ruled by Sauron. A valiant few still patrol this region, hoping to one day reclaim it for Gondor. Look at that. Frodo Baggins and Samwise Gamgee. There are reports of more lumber mills to the east. They're clearing away the trees, and with them, our cover. We must take out the lumber mill, or else we'll soon be battling on a barren plain. Call up more men from the Forbidden Pool. Use the Forbidden Pool to make rangers. Say no more, my friends. Let's recruit some Italian rangers, they are also looking different. They have also the Woodland Mastery, which will give them 25% more range and 25% more attack speed. Use the trees to stay out of the enemy's view. Um, but they are not able to use fire arrows, I believe. So that's gonna be a bit tough. And also, with these units, you are able to hold fire. Which means they won't attack automatically, which can be used in some sit uh, situations because if you don't know, Rangers and also Faramir, they are able to get stealthed around the trees. Come on now. So can't be taking no naps out here. Hurry! Hurry. One of our buildings is improved. Alright, we have no more resources left, so we can't recruit any more units. Does Faramir have leadership? The answer is yes. The captain of Italian, leadership bonus to nearby troops. 15% uh, armor, 15% speed, 15% range, 15% damage, and 100% combat experience. Alright. Now, Faramir, it's your turn, my friend, to show your quality. Be alert. We mustn't let them close. Okay, let's go. We need to kill those Haradrim archers. My left. What is this guy doing? Hello? <laughs> Why are you going deep we inside the jeans, my friend? You shouldn't suicide yet. Spread out. Spread out all you want. Do, guys, my left but left mouse click doesn't they work. You see that? I'm I'm trying to group them, but it's not working. Where's finally. Finally. Look, our damage output against Lamer Mill is not the greatest. It's gonna take some time, but it's fine. We have 10 power points collected. Oh, that's nice. So we have the chance to call the Eagles um, to summon the Ent Allies, but also the Fifth Dom Allies. And I believe because we have seen this ones already, this one is pretty new. Let's pick this one. And we will get the chance to summon them once this is ready. Maybe not, because we are not able to summon Rohirrim or the Alvin Allies in this mission. The Muma kill fear fire. Oh, Muma kills. Hit him with I see fire you. Arrows, and in his rage, he will kill the orcs around. All right. Let's use their ability. Let's kill this Muma kill, please. One arrow, maybe? Okay, one arrow doesn't deal as much damage as uh, it does in normal BFME. We might need to use heal for a sustain. There we go. Grab the money, please. Nice. Paramir is the frontliner. He's gonna hit level 2 very soon. Uh, level 5 is gonna unlock the targeting unit experience ability from Faramir. And level 8 will unlock the men of Henet Anun, which will summon a battalion of rangers led by Matril and Damrod. Okay. Calm. We have also a couple of units to kill around this side. We will need to do that because we will need money. Now we are able to get the steel typed arrows and also the banners. Be alert. Quality goes over quantity, guys. But I believe upgrading these ranges is going to be quite expensive, am I right? Yeah, 400 for each. That's a lot of cash. But it's going to be kind of tough, but I believe it's doable. So let's destroy this lumber mill next. And then we will also get money from this lumber mill, which is great. If I remember correctly, there needs to be a camp around the bottom right side. Oh, there is money on the ground. Uh, I can't resist. There are a group of rangers to the south. We must contact them. No problem. How much money do I get from the chest? Let me check. 720. So not bad at all. And also from this, Paramir can get dismounted now. But first of all, get to the rangers. Let's give them all the arrows for 25% more increased damage to units. 
And that's very important that you need to keep this in mind. It's only a damage boost against units. It doesn't affect your damage output against buildings. So very, very important. Let's get dismounted and let's go. We have Cloud Break in the worst case scenario. I'm actually curious if we are going to be able to use this Guards of the White Tree. We will get the chance to see that once we are able to capture this camp at the bottom right side. Do not pause. So kill these units. They don't even get the chance to attack you back. They have an incredible low attack speed. They have no money, but one of them is always going for the front line. I don't know why. But they have actually a lot of range. They won't find us in there. They won't find us in there. Alright. <laughs> do not pause. Okay. And if as long as you know, you know, you can see that I'm not moving forward with our hobbits. The reason is simple, our hobbits are very squishy, and if we lose them, it's gonna be GG. So for that reason, it's better to just, you know, be invisible with them by yeah, using the Alvin Cloak. I know what Keep I must the do. Find cover. Okay. I think in a situation like that, uh, in, a, in a situation like that, we might need to use the Cloud Break in order to not lose too many units. And I Guard believe that's egg. what we're going to do. Let's do this, but not yet. Wait, 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 Go wait Focus now. Your attacks on the Muma kill. It will do we have Alvin Wood in here? No, we have no Alvin Wood in the Spellbook. Be watchful. Ah! Okay, so we are killing those units now in no time, Faramir. Luckily, I mean, normally in BFME 1, he gives you leadership after... Hey guys, please attack. Normally in BFME 1, he gives you leadership once he's level 5. Line formation. Why are you not attacking? I don't get it. Why are you trying to go into the melee range? Now we need to level them up to level 2. This way you can recover over time. And it's also funny that we are not able to summon the Rohirrim or the Elven allies, but we are able to summon this dude. Faramir, where is Faramir? Use your warning arrow to kill him a bit faster. Mumma kill is tough, especially if you have no fire arrow upgrade, but he is not tough enough. And he's not even attacking us back for whatever reason. We need a bit more resources though. We can also use this Rohirrim, uh, not Rohirrim, sorry, the Ranger to contact, uh, contact these Rangers at the bottom right side. Nice. So. Fall back. Oh, we have also a trebuchet. Nice. Rangers. Rangers. Paramia, you, you are going to be the captain of the Rangers. Keep shooting, my friends. Our damage output with the Rangers against We're buildings is kind of questionable, Keep but luckily going. we got a trebuchet. So it should be a bit better now. I hope. Release. And once we are able to destroy these buildings, um, it's going to be great for us because we will get money. Steady now. But we are not getting money. What? Faramir, why are you running in? That's not Faramir. This ranger, I mean, come on now, just die. Faramir also needs to stay close by to give leadership, to give them more range, more speed, more attack damage, more armor, all the good stuff. We get money from this one though, that's pretty nice. Trebuchet can be level, uh, I mean, the group number two. Let's get the money first. Trebuchet can slowly but surely take down these buildings. It's gonna just take too much time for us to destroy them with the normal units, as you can see. How many units are shooting, but not everyone is shooting yet. Let's get them. There is no money on the ground, okay? Let's kill these rangers next. I mean, not rangers. Haradrim rangers. <laughs> Haradrim archers. They are also able to get the upgrades, which was not the case in normal BFME. Come on, Trebuchet. Attack a bit faster, my dude. Don't let them get close. Keep up the attack. Don't let them get close. Deal. Okay, there is money on the ground. Nice. Let's destroy this one next. Then we need to kill this Muma kill and keep moving on. Let me give them all banners. Banners should be a bit cheaper, am I right? No, it's actually quite expensive still. 600 for a banner carry upgrade. That's a lot of cash. Pardon me, you shoot down this archer. Look at this picture. <laughs> so funny. Kill this. Nice. Get the money. Okay. This didn't give me any money. Am I right? Very strange. We need to use heal one more time. Let's use it. There we go. Stay focused, Rangers. Power Rangers. Okay. Um, the, I don't know, what was the right call? If we should be getting some more units on the field or upgrading them with the steel arrows. Can't tell. We will see about that, though. Because eventually, if I remember correctly, we will need to kill a lot of Muma kills in this mission. 
And I like this mission quite a lot. Because I believe in this mission, Faramir has finally the chance. It became a meme on this channel, by the way. But Faramir has finally a chance to show his quality. To his daddy Denethor and to his brother Boromir, who is unfortunately dead by now in the films at least. But not in our game, he is still in there, trust me. There is an orc camp to the southeast. We must destroy this camp. We must destroy this camp. Okay, say no more. I got you. But first of all, let's get the money from the ground. More rubble over here. Be alert. Guard this area. Guard this area. The evil place will be unmade. The evil place will be unmade. Okay, Faramir. Let's kill this last building. Keep up the attack. And we are ready to... No, there is no money on the ground. It's Quickly. happening randomly, by the way. Not every building is dropping you money. We will protect so let's keep moving on. We also need to destroy this camp as soon as we possibly can. We must be can we give them now upgrades Stay once up. again? Nope, they have all the upgrades indeed. So we can keep recruiting some more rangers in this case. And even some Gondonites if we need to. Rangers are way more expensive than archers. So let's get also two archers on the field. And I know they are weaker, but it's fine. Let's kill these units first. Look at the range of the trebuchet. But the damage output without Firestone is not the best, but it's fine. Better than nothing. Let's keep moving on. Faramir leads the army of rangers to victory, my dude. I'm pressing A right click, by the way. If I ever do that, a right click, that means the units, every unit, including the heroes, are gonna attack everything until they reach this point. It's like an attack, attack move order, you know? So take down this sitter first. And once again, the damage against buildings is really not the greatest, and that's the lack of damage with the, you know, you are missing out the fire arrow upgrade, which was making you deal great amount of damage to buildings with archers, but... In this campaign or in this mod Shadow and Flame, it's gonna kind of force you eventually to build more than only one type of a unit. So you can't build only archers and expect to win. You will need trebuchets, you will need knights, you will need some sort of some sort of swordsman in the front line to deal the damage you are looking for. But it's absolutely fine. There are some units coming, let's kill them. But these are all units, okay. I was actually I was like, what what's going on? There we go. They have no money. That's the problem of we got gas. We must be vigilant. Will we get money now to be able to buy this camp? Yes, we are getting actually a lot of money. That's nice. Thank you, game. Thank you. Appreciate Let's get that. Camp set up and fast. Okay. So the plan is simple. We need to a get money, money, money. will be here soon. Ambush the convoy and Watch see that it doesn't get to its destination. All right. Say no more, my friend. Say no more. Let me build some towers too. Um, we need to build some blacksmiths. The reason is simple. Blacksmiths are gonna reduce the amount of, uh, re you know, resources we need in order to upgrade our units. So right now Rangers. we are paying like 600 for the banner and 400 for the steel arrows. Watch this on these units. Be alert, Rangers. Uh, but you see it's becoming cheaper and cheaper the more blacksmiths we have. Archers. And they have flam flaming arrow. That's actually Hold nice. The so they need to get level 2 for this one. You see 280 only instead of uh, 400. Let's go. Okay, you, you need to stay. Close you need to stay. You move. Also give them banners in this upgrade and also ready. this upgrade on these units. That's nice. The Same alert, here. Rangers. We will need more than that though. We will need a bit more I money. So you guys you in Faramir, you go on this spot. We need He's two of them staying this right way. here. Rangers. Because they will get the leadership bonuses from the, the statue, which means they will down. deal a bit more damage. I carry we the we will need even a bit more units than that. Let's split them as long as we can. We will have no time very, very soon. We will need a bit more rangers on the fields now. This trebuchet is gonna shoot them slowly but surely. Did you hear something? And you also yeah, need to move now. right here, here my friend. So Faramir is gonna we'll give leadership to these three units, which is pretty nice. The leadership is not the greatest, but you get extra range and speed, which is not bad at all. You know, 15% more damage too. Come on. Could be worse. Okay, uh, do they have all the upgrades they need? Let me check. The answer is yes, they have all the upgrades they need indeed. Archers! Archers, and if we need firepower, we have the firepower from the normal Gonda archers. So it's fine too. Okay, more, more, more. My left mouse button is broken. I can't select Steady the units. Now. Come on now. We will need this a bit way. more than that. 
Let's give them this one first and banner next. Banner is at least as important as this one because it gives you the chance to not only recover over time, but also you can use the Woodland Mastery for more range and more attack speed, which means more DPS. The faster you are able to attack, the more damage you will eventually deal, right? So pretty, pretty good. We will need even a bit more than that. Come on, one more range at least. And also you can make those units cheaper by building multiple wells. You need to build at least two wells. And just like farms reduce the cost of the in, you know, cavalry units like Gondor Knights for example. Wells do the same for the infantry units. So if you want to make like an infantry heavy army, build like two, three wells. And that's going to give you the chance to recruit them way, way cheaper. Come Rangers, make some space. We have only one minute time. Let's get one more before, before we upgrade them, shall we? Okay. You guys move right on here. Okay. That's gonna be tough now. We will need to kill as many units as we possibly can. It's gonna be like a convoy moving from downstairs to the to the upside. And that's that means we will have to deal the maximum amount of damage we can possibly deal, you know? Let's get give them this one first. It's also cheaper in compared to the banner. Banner actually quite expensive. Really expensive. Okay. We have not much Watch time left backs. anymore, so with that Make being said, space. we need to be ready pretty much right now. You them also the banners. We have one more coming, that's Gucci. Nice, so let's give them also the wedge formation, or the skirmish formation rather. That's gonna make them way more squishy, but they will deal 25% more damage, so we're gonna I'm maximize our damage Gondor. output by Spread doing out. that. Watch your backs. The Harajim are coming! They are coming indeed, my boy. Destroy the rest of this Mordor infestation. Say no more. There is a camp from the Mordor. I carry the banner for Gondor. Let's get them also this one. The forest Move on. Cover. We are almost command points capped. We can't recruit any more units, but you see, our damage output is, is very good. We are able to kill these units in no time. The Stay archers are getting count. focused down. Guys, would you mind attacking? Let's use the woodland mastery. Keep firing, the smithy. Let him have it, man. Guys, guys. They are coming to us. I don't know why these guys are trying to go into the melee range. Doesn't make any sense to me. But we should be fine. These units are going to also hit like a truck now. They have a lot of extra damage from the statue behind. And Farami can always use his warning arrow on this, on this movement kill. Okay. Easterlings are also dying quite fast. The soldiers of Rune. This movement kill is down, the other one is going down as well, and we are good to go, boys. We are absolutely good to go. Be watchful. Okay, we can get even more units than that. We can get two more. And I believe there is gonna be one more wave coming, if I'm not mistaken, but we will see about that. Luckily, he has no siege weapon, so no catapult means no problem for us. Our rangers are extremely strong, and we have also the cloud break in the worst case scenario. Hold on a second. Yeah, I am able to recruit the Guards of the White Tree. Because of that, what we have in SS Spellbook. Enables a battalion of the Guards of the White Tree to be recruited from the Citadel. Grants defensive bonuses to the nearby structures. So pretty nice. I believe they're gonna be like a Tower Guard Battalion. Which you can recruit as kind of a, like a hero. And if you can keep them inside your camp or castle or whatsoever or outpost. It's gonna make the surrounding buildings stronger. Let's use Cloud Break. Guys, please attack. Do something. I don't know why they're not attacking at the first place. An arrow ready. Release the arrows. They won't Please escape. attack. They won't escape. Find cover. Be alert, Rangers. Okay, you also attack. Wait, 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 you, you peel back, you peel back. Oh my goodness, don't die. Don't die. Run, you fool. We can set beat them in, beat them in. Nice, nice, we got this, we got this. I carry the banner for Gondor. We got him level two. That Steady means he will be recovering over time as long as he doesn't die. And I believe he should be fine. Guys, I don't know why they are not attacking. Some of the units are just not willing to attack for whatever reason can't understand that the enemy could be near the enemy could be near okay okay hold on a second i will do what i can i will do what i can finally far i'm here you will make your daddy proud my friend i carry the banner for gondor so far all right so now is the time for us to go for the attack for a counter attack shall we keep up the attack you can also use heal in the worst case scenario. Look how many units we have. I'm actually quite happy that we have now some Gonda Arches and we are command points kept. Unfortunately, we can't recruit any more units anymore. But we can potentially get the heavy armor. Where are the guards of the white tree? I can't see them on the field. 
Oh, there, there they are. Look at this shield wall formation. Gonna make them 40% tankier. Let's give them also banners. Nearby structures gain 50% armor. It's a lot. But you are still not strong enough to deal with a Mumma kill, my man. Oh, our hobbits are also following. I was pressing Q. Someone was saying me in the comment section down below, Shanks, you are never pressing Q. Don't you know that when you press Q on your keyboard, you can select all the units on the field? That's the exact reason why I'm not doing that. Because there are just some units I don't want to move with. In this case, the hobbits. You guys also want to move, maybe? But what you can always do is by selecting one ranger, press E on the keyboard. And that means you will be able to select all the rangers from the entire uh, game. And then you can move with them just like that. Let's use heal. Be still. And uh, look, you see our damage output against buildings is very questionable. Almost no damage at all. Steal yourselves. Quickly now. What is that? Uh, nearby heroes gain 10% to all stats. Undying hope. Pretty nice, actually. That's gonna make them 10% tankier, 10% stronger. So pretty, pretty nice. It's like a sportive uh, unit, you know, unit, but also it's like a counter unit against the pikemen. Let's use the wood. Land Mastery to maximize the DPS, attack speed, look at this, blue arrows guys. Looks like the Silverton arrows uh, from Rise of the Witch King on the Midwoods, you know? I wanna test this, give me a second, let's test this real quick, shall we? Let's use the Flaming Arrow Volley, that should be increasing our DPS against the buildings. But we have only two battalions of them, so it's not gonna be the best. Still not bad at all, where is the trebuchet? Trebuchet, you need to keep shooting, my man. And that's gonna be it, my lead, my friends from Middle Earth. We are gonna be victorious. Was not as tough as I was expecting it to be. And Faramir got his chance to make his daddy proud. I hope you enjoyed this one. If you did, please don't forget to leave a like on this video. Subscribe if you haven't already. I will see you next time. But first of all, we need to finish off this camp before we are gonna be victorious. And in the following videos, we are gonna, we're gonna play with the Gondor faction. Remember, early on... The beginning of the campaign was always with Rohan, with Eomir, with the heroes. And now we need to level up our uh, Gondo army. And it's gonna be heavily based on the rangers. They are my best and most favorite archers in the game. And that's gonna be a huge army with rangers all along. Brave warriors have slain the forces of evil. Oh yeah. Done, Come together. Look, Farami is celebrating his victory, my friends. And Frodo Baggins and Samwise Gamgee are running for their lives. I'm actually curious about how many units. Actually, not bad. Farami was able to kill 54, but this ranger is the um, boss. Boss ranger. I mean, you know, when he's gonna lose against this one, we're gonna rename him. Continue. And we were able to defend Italian. Not an Italian. 20% more resources. And as you can see, wages war we can I mean we can still use Rohirrim and stuff like that, but I would like to use Gondor. And into darkness. We are really, really close, actually, guys, for uh see it. For Minas Tirith. So I believe the next one is gonna be crossroads because it's giving us three power points, which is pretty amazing. So it's the best thing that we can do now. To get to the point in which we can unlock our army of the dead as soon as possible. Guys, thank you so much for watching. I will see you next time. Until then, take care of yourselves. And as always, keep hitting like a truck. And also, stay beyond standards. Peace out.